FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. You get the Dow up 405 points, the S&P 58, NASDAQ 260. Russell's up 7. That's the weakest uh, rally. It's up 7 points, trading out of 2225. Semi's up 66. Tranny's 248. Gold is off uh, 7 bucks right now. Silver down 3 pennies. Lights recruit up a buck 40. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. Again, trying to form a new daily profile. Yesterday's profile did not hold. The new one that's out here likely not to hold as well. Uh, oh, I take that back. I don't know whether it will or it won't. Uh, you've got the bottom right now at 4281. That's support. And 4408 is the resistance level. Price is not going to get up to 4408 unless we see that spot volatility continue to move lower and especially get below 1939. 1939 is a 50-day exponential moving average. As long as that spot volatility remains above that level, any surprises, we'll see some swift downside moves. The NQ out here yesterday negated Friday's uh, Gertley buy pattern because of the close below that low, which was 14,537. We're waiting for a new bullish reversal candle to form. Today's is not it. Right now, all we have is a inside bar inside of the NQ out there. Day's not over. Let's see how things play out. The U.S. dollar index has traded back to support. That is a brand new profile that formed below price. That is a bullish indication unless we see price close back inside that profile. And that would mean a close below 93.74. If we take a look at gold, she's just consolidating with inside her profile. You've got resistance at the top of its daily level of 17.68 and in the bottom of the weekly at 17.74.60. So really the level that gold needs to close above, not today. Uh, is going to be the center of that bullish structured weekly profile, 1790. If it does that, then gold will be on its merry way to the upside. In the case of silver, all it needs to do is close above 2282. That's the center of its weekly profile. Now, that's a new profile that is attempting to form. Really, we won't have complete confirmation until uh, Sunday. Uh, out here, but right now we use the information that we've got. Lightsweet Crude has made the 1.272 expansion of its A to B equals CD. I believe today is bar number nine of a potential TD9 count. That could be, in you know, that tomorrow could be the high inside of Lightsweet Crude. And a natural gas uh, attacking the resistance level from September 28th. The price could close above 631. That would be very bullish. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Tuesday, do us a favor, have a terrific one. Thanks much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.